Hello, we are back. We are doing a Mary Mantle consecration. Um, and we are putting 46 stars, Mary stars. And today is star number 11. I love it. Of 46 iron? stars. Did you iron those on? Yes, this is an iron on. I put them back on my uh, little jean jacket. I love it. So, yeah. Um, so today is going to be the star of patience. Patience begins with knowing and accepting peacefully that we are essentially limited. We desire to do and be something great. But in this life, we are able to do little, and the little we will do with great effort will yield limited results. Herein lies true wisdom and humility. If we can accept our limited nature, even the great saints didn't know of their own greatness and wish they had been able to do and be so much more. Illusion leads to dissolution, staring at the stars, pondering the universe, contemplating the infinite accomplishments and attributes of the Almighty. How can we feel anything but small? In reality, we fly very low in comparison with the divine height of Jesus. Be saddened by our state? No. Ashamed of who we are? Never. The peace, the peaceful key to withering the slow progression of holiness in ourselves and others and accepting the timing of God in the world is patience. A woman planted an extensive field of wheat. She returned the next week and saw that nothing had sprouted. It seemed to her that the seeds had died in the coffin-like soil. Disappointed, she came back two weeks later, only to find that everything looked the same. No signs of life. Then four weeks passed, and she delighted to see, as she walked into the field, that tender green shoots had poked timidly up from the earth. Time journeyed on, and inches of winter snow piled itself on top of the fledgling stalks, flattening them under its weight. But the wheat plants preserved. Then a terrible frost came, relentless in its in its in its treat to destroy. Threat. threat in its threat to destroy. The wheat could not grow and lost many of its blades, but still clung obstinately to life. Springing finally arrived, and the wheat began to breathe. In time, brave stalks began to reach upward from the sun, but from one month to the next, their growth was so slow that the woman could not see any change. A few months went by, and she returned, much to her joy and surprise, extending before her and over the horizon was an immense and majestic golden wheat field, swaying and undiluting in the breeze. Whether as the wheat or the woman, one can put forth all the impatient spreading in the world and not make the wheat grow one day sooner or one inch taller. Patience achieves all. Amen. That's true. We are so impatient, girl. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. And, you know what else? I don't know why I'm echoing like this. You know what else struck me? You know, you know the story about the wheat and the um weeds. And you think, well, why doesn't God just get rid of the weeds? Because it sometimes overtakes the the good stuff. But but um, growing together, the the remember what it said. Uh, what we talked about the evil, um, like Father John said, the reason that God permits 
the demons is because it transforms us. Nothing to be afraid of. See, that's what I was telling you. Nothing to be afraid of with the demons. They, because they have no power. They only have power in uh, tempting us. And so he's, um, he was saying that. So these, the wheat and uh, you think of the wheat and the weeds and you think, oh, the negative underlines the positive. But not only that, look at this. The environment can be so harsh. Here they had the snow or whatever, the cold and all this, but it still grew, you know, and that's the beautiful. And, and, and like you said, it was the, the patience of waiting for that. I read a book. It wasn't, it wasn't a religious book, but it was all about this woman. My, my grandmother used to grow things and, oh, I wanted to put this on. Whoops. And my grandmother used to grow things and I never could. I, anything I tried to grow, I would kill, you know, not like your beautiful garden back there. And you have all those towers and all the beautiful things that you grow out in front. You even grow your herbs out in your front, how you have those hanging out there. Yeah. Yeah. And, and so I, I read this book and this woman, um, they, they, I, I gosh, I wish I could remember the name of it. I have it in here somewhere. I listened to it on audible, actually. I'll try to find it, but she made growing things so attractive. Like she was like, and she would take the seed and she would put it there and she talked about it like it was a little baby. Yeah. And I, and cause I always feel guilty when something dies, whenever I kill something, I am like, it kills me. So that's why I, I'm like, please don't give me plants. You know, the kid, my kids know, don't give me plants, but, um, but, uh, oh, um, but anyway, the short is they were talking about the wheat and the, um, and the weeds So I will put this article in. It's the integrated Catholic life called dealing with the wheat and the weeds that we need the weeds. Um, You know, that helps us highlight it. And I thought that was really, you know, this really fits with that. And, and patience, it begins with knowing. So we have to have patience. All right. Well, we had a nice little short one. We'll be back tomorrow with our, um, our, uh, Emmerich. Catherine Emmerich, uh, visions of Catherine Emmerich book club. Book club. We, we've taken a little break for it because, um, Henrietta went on a beautiful angelic retreat, a silent retreat. So, we it was four days long, right? Hen? Yeah, can you believe really, it? I was silent. Really yeah. Silent for four. I can't believe it. Hard to believe. Even though you call me, um, I think it was at the end, Jeanette. And you're you're whispering. I'm like, oh my gosh, she's talking on the phone and the silent retreat. I'm like, do you want to sign up for this? You will. It's so it. funny. I loved it. It was so <laughs> cute. Yeah, it was cute. You are going to, I, you are, oh, I know you're going to love this. So, but anyway, anyone can sign up to, you just enroll and it's a year formation. It's the guardian angel. You get consecrated. You have to do 12, you know, it's usually 12 months because there's 12 letters, but, um, the the doctor, uh, Alexandra, Alexa, she's like, oh no, I'm, I want to get started on my mission work. I'm like, Oh, she's so like ready and gung ho. And uh, she's great. like, yeah, we can read over it, the whole book real quick. And then we can slowly go through it. And I was like, okay, however. So um, we'll see. But okay. yeah. So, all right. We'll see you tomorrow, guys. Bye. Have a great night. Bye-bye.